Welcome everyone to this session. So my name is uh, Nicolas Marza. I run the CTO Office Group in Europe. I'm very pleased to spend the next uh, 15 minutes or so talking uh, about the value of process mining and how you get started fast with uh, TIPCO. So I will um, now uh, give you a chance um, to read our disclaimer note and then we can get started. So I'd like to, to start with a um, little agenda. So um, we'll be talking about process mining in general. We'll be talking about the business value that you can expect from process mining. And then we'll be talking about um, the typical way, so project discover. Um, and I'll do uh, also a little uh, demo. If you have any question, you may want to contact us uh, with uh, the two email address that you see on the screen. So I'd like to start with some business question. And uh, especially uh, at this point, I would like you also to think about uh, what, what is uh, your business question uh, in, uh, in your particular domain. But especially when things go wrong during business operation, what happened exactly? You know, what's the sequence of events? Have we followed the right path, the company rule? In other words, are we compliant? Have we been fast enough? Is there a bottleneck? And if there is, where it is, how can I fix it? So those questions are always relevant at any time to keep the operation healthy and running. Of course, one way to answer this is reviewing the piles of documentation and process diagrams that are typically generated by enterprise to describe how the business should operate. Or another way is to perform interviews with the people involved in the operation, which can be sometimes very tedious and sometimes not so objective as well. So in general, those approaches simply don't work. Understanding the variety of business process within an organization can be very challenging. So let's take the example of a freight shipping process. Let's say a cargo vessel initially empty, collects some goods from a source location and transport them to uh, their final destination. At a high level, this, pro this process can be simply represented through a few key steps, very simply, um, including loading, transshipment, and discharge of, of ports. Um, you may say processes are not that simple and uh, each of these milestones would be described further, of course, and, and automated as well with a lot of details involving people, system and technology. And really the good news is that usually 80% of these shipping process follow the documented and expected path. But at the same time, the bad news is that the remaining 20% is the ones that are causing you operational headaches. And a lot of time is spent as a result to understand and react to resolve this issue. So clearly the opportunity here is to reduce this effort. Now, understanding why the headache is quite simple. In our example, the reality is that business operations often go, don't go as planned. Many unplanned events do happen, which cause disruption to this process. So for example, there might be extreme weather condition on route, port congestion, uh, route chain strikes or even damage to a cargo, not to mention a virus maybe. Um, and all of these factors produce variation in the process. And in each case, business decisions are needed to balance the risk, the speed, cost, quality of service, and many more um, factors. So what's the role of process mining here? Process mining is an effective data-driven approach that helps you discover and understand operational process. So instead of reading a process diagram that is likely to be out of date or performing lengthy and time-consuming interviews with the people involved in the process execution, process mining leverage event log data and analytical techniques to intelligently process that data that is already produced by, by your operational system, which is the good news, the data is there. Whether the data source is a system or an application supporting an operator, data produced by IoT devices, data sitting in a database or stored in a data lake, that data is available to whoever is able to connect to it. So process mining focus on that data and in order to run in a semi-automated way. So what does this data look like? Well, actually it's pretty simple. Even if the data sources and data formats can vary widely, um, Process mining only needs three attributes, a case ID, uh, which is a unique identifier, a timestamp, and an activity name. So these three attributes represent an activity performed at a point in time as part of a single case or process. And once this information is provided, process mining analyzes, correlates, and reconciles this data and provides graph-based views on the right side of the screen um, to the business process stakeholder who can then start the exploration, the visual exploration and insight um, this discovery process. Process mining doesn't stop there. It also allows you to identify anomalies, bottleneck, compliant issues, and to provide recommendations for solving the discovered issue. So at the end of the day, process mining gives business two things, objectivity and direction. It helps you quantify the inefficiencies and it tells you what to change first for the maximum impact 
and cost saving to the business. What is true for a cargo shipping process is also true in most industry, actually. Whether it's an insurance claim, call center operation, banking process, maintenance in manufacturing, supply chain, healthcare, many other similar problems exist. How do you know if your process are being executed as expected? So do you have resource bottlenecks? Um, and just how many variations of the same process do, do you have? So there are lots of opportunities in many industries um, to use process mining. Uh, we're seeing a lot of customer uh, inquiry for it and think about your industry and your processes. Now, uh, let's talk about how you do it with TIPCO. So, you know, the idea of business process at TIPCO is not new and many customers have been successful over the years in deploying TIPCO's software to streamline business operation. So to continue this work, process mining was launched as part of the TIPCO Labs program. This is an initiative that uh, allows customers and partners to innovate together with TIPCO. And this allowed us to um, develop process mining capabilities with customer needs at the forefront and at the same time to take a very rapid time to market approach to delivery. So the result is Project Discover, which is now available to everyone on GitHub. Um, Project Discover is then a process mining solution, uh, if you will, built on the TIPCO Connected Intelligence Platform. And it allows you to connect and to discover, learn, improve, and predict process behavior from those event logs that we just talked about. Uh, on the right side of the screen, you see the process cockpit application where stakeholders can quickly visualize, identify, and quantify the bottlenecks and inefficiencies across their line of business and produce a prioritized list of change for those cost saving improvements. So how does it work? Process mining may be thought of um, a way to continuously scan and monitor your business. So to support this capability, Process Discover uh, incorporates a complete end-to-end -end process analysis lifecycle. The lifecycle starts with the preparation phase. So you identify on the business side, what are the right process and the business question that uh, needs to be observed and quantified all the time. And on the IT side, um, you define the systems and the data integration points needed to make uh, um, those data available for analysis. Once this is done, um, the process stakeholder uh, in, the, in the middle uh, would use the process code pit to create the different analysis of views, if you will, of the one or more selected processes and runs the process mining algorithm. You can run it on demand or you can run it on a scheduled fashion. And finally, on the right side at any time, Result and the data can be explored visually using the process cockpit. Is issues such as the non-compliant processes or enhancements uh, can then be raised um, to our case management uh, components and shared with resolver for investigation. And then you can put the countermeasure in place that will be themselves assessed in the next round of analysis. So um, another cover, um, Project Discover um, has a number of capabilities. So the solution is modular, so one can use them and assemble them based on the needs. These key capabilities include um, comprehensive data connectivity, um, data prep and data source aggregation with things like virtualization. Um, another one is the execution of the process mining algorithm. We store the outputs um, in the backend store. Uh, we bundle a native web app um, providing, which is the cockpit, providing a single place for user to experience process mining. Um, and then we have advanced visual analytics uh, in, uh, in, in, the, in the, um, the solution. So you can discover and explore process variants interactively using a graph-based visual representation. Um, you, you can utilize a number of out-of-the-box analysis, including uh, performance, compliance, outlier, bottlenecks. We use timelines and a lot of filtering mechanism as well to be able to slice and dice the processes uh, and explore as desired. We also go beyond the process themselves so we can create mashup with business attributes or other related data source to give a global perspective on the business. Um, finally, we include case management um, that allows to raise the process mining discoveries and exceptions as cases um, that can be then shared with investigator. On the technology side, this has been made possible with really the combination of two things. On one side, there is the TIPCO cloud um, components and, and plus uh, open source um, components on the right side. So um, t t Project Discover was built to leverage um, today's modern architecture. The solution uses a mix of um, things like TIPCO Spotfire, TIPCO cloud, live apps, integration and messaging, as well um, as uh, some TIPCO labs uh, components. 
um, as well as on, on the right side, the open frameworks such as Kubernetes, Apache Spark, and standard databases. Um, it's also built in the, on the following, following uh, principle. So three principles, basically. Cloud native, the backend infrastructure can fully leverage a container-based cloud strategy, taking advantage of low cost and maximum flexibility. Um, AI and ma uh, machine learning driven. Uh, so it's built on TIPCO's market leading analytical solution. And it also leverage um, machine learning models through Apache Spark. The algorithm, um, it's one thing to note, are completely tunable or changeable. So you can bring your own algorithm. And in general, the solution is very open um, and has been designed as open. So all aspects of the solution can be customized with a no, no code approach. So that's true for the algorithm, that's true for the user interface, and that's also true from the, um, on, the visuals, uh, on the visual analytics. So it's now time for a quick demo. So let's uh, roll out the video. So what you see is the cockpit here. Each card is a process analysis. When you open, then uh, you can uh, start mining your processes. Uh, you can see key um, uh, metrics, such as number of case, number of variant. Here you see a timeline. Uh, sometimes the timeline is tricky, so you can also adjust the timeline to just the, the, the portion that you want to, um, to see, and you can filter on those events, uh, and, and you can start then the discovery. A variant is one way of you do your, your processes, so a similar case that follow the same path, so you can look at distribution by frequency or by performance. Uh, we cluster um, automatically for you the, the different um, uh, views. Um, and then you can look at, for example, the top uh, variant. So here you can visually see also your top 10 or top N uh, variant. You can compare them, you can group them together. Uh, you can look them on the timeline so you can see trends. So those look good in terms of the performance, which is in red. Uh, you can see also how the, the overall process uh, look like. What you can do on, on frequency, you can do on performance as well. So in here, we're looking more as the worst case uh, scenarios. So we rank the, the bottom, let's say, worst performer uh, cases um, and, and variants. So we can also let you look how many uh, cases per uh, variant. So you may have very bad performing variants, but with very small cases. You can also drill down into the case. So here you see the, um, the history of one single case. You can compare case together. Um, you can also bring business data in, in there. On activities, uh, we also rank the, uh, the activities both by frequency or by performance. Here you see the frequency. You can see the trends on the timeline. You can see the resources that are involved also the most in those activities. Here you see the performance. So the right part is where you spend your time in your business process. Um, on the right side, you see also the trend. Uh, this one is looking particularly good over time. Probably some automation has, has been put in place. And then you can see the resources. Um, on the resource graph also, you can see all the connections between uh, all resources in terms of uh, business process and activity. You can select one and see all its connection. You can zoom in, you can also filter to maybe uh, only retain a certain number of um, activities in, in common. So you can try to spot things like fraud um, if certain user uh, work too much uh, with, uh, with other user. Um, in, uh, in certain uh, specific activities that uh, should not be the case. That could be an indicator of fraud. Um, you could also look at compliance. So on the left side, you've got your reference model that you pick. So it could be your top 10, it could be your top one, two, three. Um, and then you can compare and score all the other cases against that uh, compliance model or reference model. And then you can see by color coding, the right things is the activity that you do and you shouldn't, and, and the blue is what you should do and what you are not doing. And the green is the activity that uh, are in common in, in both models. So you can look investigating the, uh, the compliance side of it and, uh, and the differences. That's, uh, that's it for the demo. So um, let me summarize what you just saw. So we have been seeing Project Discover. Um, it's a process mining solution built on TIPCO Connected Intelligence Platform plus open source. It's powered by powerful integration and analytics components. Um, the, the architecture is quite open, so it's uh, really a template that you can take and extend uh, yourself. Um, and then um, really it's, uh, it's based on data that most of the time is already available. So this is your opportunity to look at what's your business question, what's your processes that uh, 
have operational issues, where is the data and how you can get started today with uh, process mining with TIPCO. Um, this is one project, part of the TIPCO Labs innovation project. So you may want to check out also the other project. Um, and we've got a couple of more resources for you to, to check out as well. We've got Invitalia customer story. This is the initial customer uh, that we, we built the project uh, together. Uh, it's a great story. You can see on the tipco.com uh, webpage. Uh, we've got the process mining solution page also uh, listed here, as well as access to the project discover uh, itself. And so more resources, more focused on tip collabs. Uh, if you have any question, please contact us at tipcollabs at tipco.com. Check out the community as well. Join us for the quarterly webinar.